are at Cobor State Forest and there is nine Y62s. I think this is a perfect time to have a look at the way everyone sets up their rear drawers. Let's take a look. All right, up first, David Jackson's car. Rocking the Titans. Oh, this is a really good idea for the Titans. Stainless steel top on there to have as a table. Slide out. Check this out. It's a microwave. That's powered off an inverter hidden at the back there. If you can see that. And then down here, this little switch panel. So, there is a water pump, lights, camping lights, 12 volt sockets, um, air compressor, and then over the other side, this is where the air compressor comes out. Oh yeah, there's the water pump there. How cool is that? And I know, I don't know if I can do it, but I know this fridge slide comes out and doesn't drop down, but it tilts. Um, we'll see if I can have a look at that later. All right, let's go to the next car. This is going to be the longest slide out drawer I have ever seen. I don't know how long this is, it's huge. Check that out. And then there's another little extension. That is the longest slide out drawer I've ever seen. But check out the back of this. This is running a lithium setup with the manager. I've always wanted one of them. Lithium battery down here, inverter, fridge. What a sweet setup. Yeah. It's really cool because you know it wasn't going around. like chatting. But the wind just all of a sudden went. Yeah. Next minute I'm work in progress. Ah, we just go straight past mine. Nice and everything. I was like, ah. Got back. Oh my god. Yep. We might have a new record for how far a draw can come out. So these are ARB tools. Very nice. Drop down NSA fridge slide. And I know hiding underneath here is um, a lithium battery setup as well. There you go, three setups in three different 62s. All right, and now for those looking for bars for their Y62, let's check out what's on offer. Starting off, what have we got here? This is the ARB bar with hoops. Man, this guy likes lights. Check this out, even side lighting, very cool. Next, another ARB bar. Next, Rhino, let's do a walk around of the Rhino. Very cool, oh and this must be a TIL, it's got the radar down the bottom there. More Rhino, Rhino's popular. Another Rhino on a black car. There you go. Opposite lock. We'll be taking this off soon. That's how the opposite lock fits up. And of course, the Dash Off Road Predator Bar. TIL as well. Radar. Up the top there. Yeah, yeah, the offset push pit for you. What's left? Alright. What's Ned got? Ned is rocking the ARB bar as well. While we're looking at Ned's car, check out the snorkel. I think I'm gonna have to get one of them. He's got his own sliders too, not bad. Actually very nice with the stainless steel tops on them. One thing I do like about Ned's car is at the back here. Check this out, so factory rear bar, but he's got a wheel carrier on there. So those people that want to put a long range tank in, like this would be the ultimate if you didn't want to lash out for the Razzler or Kmart. We should keep talking about bars, hey. Let's go have a look at other rear bars. I know we've got Kmart here on Andrew's car. Color 
colour coded. They do look nice colour coded. And then Andrew's got his own sliders here too. Very nice. Just have a look how they're mounted. Can't quite see. Try and have a look at the profile, how they sit. Nice, just sitting out a little bit. Then we'll go, we'll have a look at mine. I've got big O 4x4 sliders. One are designed to kind of step out, but you can see they're tucked in a bit more. Can't see the brackets on them, but they're all laser cut. They're cool brackets. Um, what else have we got? These are Andrew sliders as well on track. Pretty sweet. And they look like Andrew's too, I reckon. Andrew must have the market in Melbourne, I'd say. Kmart bar too. That's a bit of a look at all the cars that came along to the Cobalt weekend. I hope you liked it.